Crassiolovata, commonly known as the jade plant, is one of the most common houseplants with the species also being quite popular with beginner bonsai enthusiasts. Jade plants come in several interesting varieties and most importantly, they are easy to care for. However low maintenance a jade bonsai might be, it still needs an occasional repotting and pruning to keep it in shape. So join me next as I'm repotting and pruning these two jade plants that I want to train into little jade bonsai trees. If it's your first time on the Old Bonsai channel, I'm Stefan and I'm sharing my experience of learning to work with unusual species as well as more common ones while training bonsai trees. So please consider subscribing and click the notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. I'm going to start with repotting the smaller of the two jade plants, which is a Crassula ovata golem. What you're seeing here is what is left out of a larger jade tree which started to rot from the inside out. I put a cutting in this pot about one year ago not knowing if it will survive or not. Apparently it did and now I want to change its soil because as you can see it's currently sitting in normal potting soil. So let's get it out of this pot. The little jade seems to be kind of wiggly so I really hope there's no root rot. Repotting goes much easier if the soil is on the dry side, so it's generally good to avoid watering before repotting but make sure you don't let the roots dry out completely unless it's a succulent or other drought tolerant species. While this soil does provide good drainage at the moment it was completely organic and this is certainly not ok for a succulent in general and bonsai in particular. Ok, let's see what we have here. There seems to be no root rot which is great. However, the roots are all coming from one point of the trunk, which is not that great. I washed all the old soil from the roots to have a better look. It's definitely not a great root system, but I'm hoping it will get better once it's in better soil. If you have any tips on promoting rooting on jade plants without using root hormone, please leave a comment. As soil, I'm using an inorganic mix of 50% perlite and 50% vermiculite. This should provide good drainage and moisture retention while also allowing oxygen to reach the roots. Ok, now let's place the jade plant in the pot. I will arrange the roots a bit. And now I'll fill in the rest of the soil. I'm using this plastic label stake to remove all the air pockets in the soil. There are two reasons for this. First, it helps in getting the tree nice and firm in the pot. And second, any air pockets in the soil create the perfect place for fungus to develop. And you don't want that happening near or in the root system. I got some stones here to keep the tree from wiggling around when watered until new roots will develop. This should keep it nice and stable. Now let's have a look at the tree structure. It has two branches coming out of this point, one of which is underdeveloped in comparison to the other. Since I don't want the large one to take over as the leader, I'm going to prune it back to increase vigor in the smaller one. I'm also hoping this will keep the leaves nice and small since I want to grow this as a mame bonsai. So I'll prune this branch back to here. I think that's all I can do now for this small jade. Cuttings are easy to root, so I'll place the cuttings from today's pruning along with some older cuttings. All the guys that you're seeing here have grown from cuttings or leaves over the past year. Now let's look at the second jade tree, which is a regular jade that I had since last summer. It also needs a soil change because it's potted in the same kind of organic soil. I also want to prune it back to get a nice taper on the trunk before it gets too tall. Alright, let's get this jade plant out of the pot. This one seems to be better rooted than the smaller one, so that's a good sign. I left the soil to dry out on this one as well to make root cleaning easier. Jades will tolerate dry soil for long periods of time. In fact, if you are not sure how to properly water a jade plant, it's better to wait for the soil to dry out completely between waterings. Let's clean the soil now to see how are the roots on this jade. I'm using this plastic stake this time for cleaning the old soil instead of my root rake because I don't want to do much damage to the fine roots that jades usually develop. This is definitely a larger root mass than the first jade had. You can see that the roots are quite short and also notice how fine they are which is why they are so fragile. Breaking some of the roots will not affect the jade plant too much but still I want to be able to select the roots that have to be removed. 
I got most of the soil off and I think that's the best I can do before washing the roots. I washed the roots and I was surprised to find a similar one-sided root system as the Golem Jade had. We'll have to work with that and hope it will improve in the future. I'll proceed with the root pruning now. This root is a bit high up, so I'll remove it. Next I'll shorten the roots a bit to encourage new root growth. And remove roots that are not radial, like this one. It seems that I also have some overlapping roots here that have to be removed. Ok, now on to the potting. I'll first put some meshing over the drainage hole and then add the same perlite and vermiculite soil mix. Now let's put the J tree back where it belongs. And I'll get the roots nice and radial and fill in the pot. I'm tapping on the surface of the soil to get rid of some of the air pockets and then I'll use the small stake to finish the job. I have to add some rocks to this one as well since it's a bit top heavy and cannot stand on its own. Ok, that should be it. On to the pruning part now. I will first cut back this top section of the main trunk and keep the small branch as the new apex. Ok, that's off now. It doesn't look like much now, but small things done at this stage should be rewarding in the future. These small bumps also need to be removed. There's another one down here. And one around here. I'll also clean up this cut point. And that should be it for now. Let's have another look. Now we have two small branches growing on this main trunk and two more here. Here is a better view. I don't know if I should let this one grow longer. I'm not sure about this branch and how it will look once it grows. I thought some more about this skinny branch and I don't like it the way it is. I don't know if I will keep it in the future, but if I do, it will need to have some taper. So I decided to cut it back to here, right above a leaf node. New shoots should appear from this point. Ok now, let's have a final look at the two jades. This was all for this video on these two jade plants, thank you for watching and see you next time.